What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And what we're going to be doing right now is jumping into a game of weekend league. Uh, we're going to be talking about why I think the out-of-position Mike Vick at running back is still the best running back in the game. And this is post-patch. Because if you guys are just getting Madden right now, uh, you probably don't know how glitchy the elusive backs were in the beginning of the year. What EA did was they toned it down, and now the trucking backs are, you know, more or less the, the, the go-to for the uh, pro players. Like, you may have seen some of the guys that played in the tournament start running around with Leonard Fournette. Um, the, who else they got? They got, they got uh, Derek Henry. It's a lot of different things going on, but they've taken themselves away from what was being glitchy before. Um, it's pretty. It's it's a lot harder now to run that pitch play because you can't really spin move and the entire defense flies out of the stadium. Uh, but still in all, if you time everything the way you're supposed to time it, Michael Vick is still the best running back in the game. Okay? So for everybody that's trying to build their team, if you're trying to get your team to the next level, I would try to have at least two type of backs on your team. I would go with an elusive one and, you know, a trucking one. Uh, primarily, you're going to want to use the trucking guys on the in the goal line area, the red zone, because within the 20-yard area, it's like the dead zone in Madden 18. It's very, very hard to score. Um, when you do a, a QB sneak, the guy dies before he, you know, before he even goes anywhere. He just falls on the ground. Um, depending on how you do it, they'll just fall on the ground. So um, right now, going through this gameplay, we're going to take a look at this guy. You know, a lot of the things that are going on in Weekend League, as you guys know, Weekend League is also known as the Devil's Den. Um, it's where everybody goes to die. So if you're playing weekend league, just be very, very careful for your health. Um, keep your heart medication nearby, um, ibuprofen, you know, for, you know, for the major headaches that you'll get. Because this game, I'm not sure if they're going to ever release why it was made. But I believe, it, I believe that everybody that has played Madden 18 is part of a science experiment that's been going on for the last three years uh, from 16, 17, and 18. Um, yeah, so now as we get into the game right now, what we're trying to do right now, defensively, you guys have been asking for tips about, you know, who do I use on defense? What am I doing? I told you guys before, Willie Brown is just in my starting lineup just to look pretty. He's a terrible, terrible player. He's a very terrible player. So what we're trying to do right now is this. We have to make sure that, um, you see, who's who just picked that? Who was that? Okay, that's Anthony Barr. What happened was this guy is garbage. So before I get into the fact that this guy is trash, I want to make you guys understand what I was finishing up. Um... It's, it's definitely something that you have to understand. Willie Brown is a trash can in this game, all right? So I put Deion Sanders, my 90 overall cornerback, the guy that I got from, like, upgrading. He stays there, not the, the 97 overall maniac that goes for ridiculous millions of coins. My bank account is not set up like that, so I'm definitely not going to be, you know, going that realm. I use a 90 zone corner in place of Willie Brown, and you, like, he plays the ball so much better. He's just so much better. So just so that you know that, I sub out um, the out-of-position cornerback, Paul Kraus, to his actual position at strong safety. I put my Calvin Johnson free safety at cornerback on the left side, and the Mutt Master 98 overall, Sean Taylor, stays at free safety. Um, so that should cover everybody. I got Calvin at, on the left. I got Deion Sanders on the right. Strong safety on the right side of the screen will be Paul Kraus out of position, uh, cornerback. And then free safety, Sean Taylor, Muttmaster. All right? So that's my secondary. All right? So I do have a person that's on my defense that doesn't have that 91 threshold uh, zone. Okay? And I'm going to tell you something. He plays just fine. He definitely plays just fine. You don't really notice the difference. I don't know what's be if it's because his man coverage is so high and because that's above the meta, it kind of correlates. I don't know. I really just don't know how it works. But, um... Pretty much what you have to understand is when you're building your team, I want everybody to understand. Build the team based on what you like, not what somebody else tells you. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving you my ideas. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just telling you what works for me. Now, because Madden is so inconsistent, even if something works for me, you could put my same exact team together and get blown out and end up on Mars. Because the game, you'll, you'll get a guy that's on his D-line user He's obviously had, he, he has no nipples, he has no eyeballs, and he's going to beat you by 65. I lost today earlier on Twitch during a live stream. I think I, I think I got blown up by like 48. It was very exciting. It was a guy running around with Aaron Donald, and it was it was just one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. And it, it made me understand why the creators of, of, of this game, anybody that had anything to do with this game, deserves either a raise or to be fired effective immediately. Because I got to know where we're going. It's either they got to leave or you got to elevate them to a higher level so I can know and be, you know, I can understand where I'm going with my life. 
because it's Aaron Donald. I, I, I was IDing him, IDing the mic. I was blocking my running back. I brought in Moses before he parted the Red Sea. And Jesus was right before me at center. And he was just throwing everybody down to the ground and coming in and, and like harpooning me with an actual harpoon and stabbing me in the neck. And every play he did it, it was, I couldn't get the ball off. I was trying to run the ball. He was coming right in. So it's really, really ironic to me that a lot of people complain about nano detection. But if you're a D-line user, you come right in. That's why it doesn't make any sense. There's no consistency with it. Because a lot of you guys are like, yeah, we need the nano detection for glitchy blitzes. If you've ever played a D-line user from the depths of hell, until you've done that, you can't say, don't, don't complain about glitchy blitzes. Uh, glitchy blitzes. Don't, co don't complain about it. Because these dudes that run around in their D-line user, they have no soul. These guys are outrageous animals. They, the, yo, he, he had no care. He had no user. He had no, he's like, listen, EA Sports created a game for me. That's how these bums think. They're like, look, this game was made specifically for me. So they come out and they do the wildest things ever. And let me tell you something. If you're a decent player and you try to be a D-line user, you're going to lose by 75 million points. Because it's not made for people that have a brain. This game right here has taken six to 75 years off my life. So pretty much I'm dead already. And I'm just back to do this video for this actual commentary. Because that's how I feel. It's like, it's like I'm above myself looking at myself play the game. It's weird because the game is so bad. But again, I don't want you guys to not enjoy it. I got, it's so many of you guys from, you know, from different generations, different parts of the country, um, different parts of the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not just the USA, that you enjoy it, and I want you guys to enjoy it, but I want you guys to understand the humor of it. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I tell you guys, watch my older videos to see when Madden was good. You know what I'm saying? And then you could correlate it. Go back to like Madden 12, go and then jump back to 13. You're like, okay, you jump back to 25. You go to you go to 15. 15 was garbage. Uh, that's where the uh, play action reach around was at. Uh, you know, 16, 17. You'll be able to see the transition of how I lost all my brain cells playing Madden. It didn't just happen overnight. None of this stuff happened overnight. Um, the things that EA has done to a lot of us, because a lot of us, we now have a, a, a automatic twitch with our eye when we walk around. Um, a lot of you guys probably just started laughing after that because um, what happens is when something wild happens, I expect it now. So my eye starts to twitch. And then you start to get involuntary actions. And then your doctor tells you whatever you're doing, stop doing it. And they think you're doing drugs, but it's just Madden. It's really, really bad what EA is doing to people. And I don't think that we're going to be able to figure out the depths of the damage that they've done until way after when it's over. But while it's happening right now, we can still have fun with it. I just don't want you to take it too seriously, even if you're a competitive player, because a lot of competitive players watch my videos and um, they watch it for the entertainment. But I, I really, I don't know how to say it. Like I, re for the most part, I don't think it's really competitive, the Madden itself, but they do have certain plays that work at a higher level that helps them to be where they are. Um, but at the same time, they're human beings, just like, you know, hopefully the viewers that are watching this, if you're aliens, shout out to you guys, man. Um, that you, you chose to watch my videos. I really appreciate you guys. If you know what I'm saying, if you're like Roger from American Dad, I appreciate you guys watching or anybody else because my videos are for everyone. But it Madden destroys your life mentally, physically, and emotionally. Emotionally. So I just want to make sure you guys understand that. So don't make it happen. Don't make that happen to you. Enjoy it for what it is. And you go from there. What is this? What, what, what play? What is that? What's going on right there? What, what, what is that? I don't even know what that was. I just lobbed it up. That was completely and utterly ridiculous. I don't know what that was, but that was a horrible play by me, and I suck. But that's not what this is about. That's neither here nor there, bro. I'm trying to help you guys understand the maximum capabilities of the flux capacitor. That has nothing to... Bro, why am I even bringing it back to the future? See, this is what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Oh, so you see what I'm saying? You see, you see those jukes that were nerfed? That's a timing juke now. You got to really time it. You can't just do it early and the guys fly all over the place and do stuff like that. So that's why Vic still plays um, on my team. And um, he will continue to play until somebody else comes in that's, you know, has his speed and his, uh, his attributes. But the power backs also work. So even post-patch, you still can do the jukes. So if you have a decent amount of coins, like I think he was going for like 100, 100K, definitely go ahead and scoop him and tell me how he, you know, how he does for you. But he's still pretty consistent. He will fumble the ball when you least expect it, but he's like a sneaky fumbler. He's going to make you enjoy it and rage till your eyeballs pop out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video.
definitely share it. The video view, go view goal for this video, we're going to say about 65,000. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.